first laid all your screws. Some of them might not be the ones, so just eliminate them and put them to the side. But the ones are the big ones. Mines do not have fiber washers, so yeah. Here's the blade arms. This is for the, just the screwing on the little tin blades. Just doing a little quick tutorial. Here's the rest. Just lay everything out. Okay. Now we can just get to the screw sorting. This one, yes. This one has a metal washer, this one does not. You can see it's the same screw. But, um, here, here, other one. You need three of them for each. Four, five, six. Okay. Just three more, two more. Wrong one. I don't know where is the last one here. Oh, here, okay. Now we have enough to sort all these out. Grab all your screws. Put them right here. And then you can start getting the blades done. You can choose either side you want. You can do bleach stoke or white. I'm doing this with Littleton, so it's that specific color. If you're doing it with, like, the Glendale or something, that might be different, but... Then just, um, flip it over. Then put the three holes through the three, um, holding screw, holding places. And then there, and then you just screw on these screws. And please, YouTube, do not turn off the comments. Um, just screw all these in. I'm gonna get my screwdriver in a minute, but yeah. I'm gonna do with this with all the rest of the fans, so I'm just gonna do that and fast forward. And yeah, I don't know why this is not fitting, but I just might have to get my screwdriver for this. Okay. We got all the things just tight enough to stay in place. Now we can just get our screwdriver and tighten these even more. <laughs> you see the one in the middle is the one without a washer, but I don't care. This is not gonna be installed. Just tighten it until it is snug. Got the middle one snug. Now time for the right one, or at least my right one. Now my left one. It's still kind of loose. Just carefully, just tighten it till it is snug and it won't fall off. Good way to test this out is if it's loose or not. It is loose, so you just tighten it more. Yeah, sorry if I'm hitting the blade arm, but yeah. The first blade's done. Here you go. And if you want it for the second blade, if you want it on whatever side you want, let's say if you want it on the bleach stoke side, you just put the holes through on the opposite white side. So, basically just do this. There's multiple ways to do this. I just choose to do it this way because it's easy to me, and it's also very convenient. Um, if it's not lined up with the holes, then you, you have a problem here. So basically, you just take it and just line it up with the three little holes. You see, it's lined up. Now you get three of the screws, and then these are all the ones with washers. But you put them right inside... And just do what I did with the one over there. Just tighten them all. 
And if you don't, if you know how to install blades, I'm not here to offend you. I'm just showing you people who don't. But here are the three screws. And now you just get your screwdriver. And then tighten all three. <sighs> okay. Okay, that might... Yeah, that's enough to tighten it, uh, to make it in place. So now I just tighten the other screws. Just do the same thing for all the other blades if you're installing the four blade fan. I'll just consider doing like a pattern or whatever you want. But if it's a five blade fan, you can do the same thing as I did, just five. I'm just going to do four since this is for the Littleton. But yeah, you can do whatever you want to do. Uh, sorry, I just had to tighten it extra tight. I don't know if it's tight enough, but here's the two sets of blades. And now I'm just going to do the rest fast forward. So, yeah, I just fast forward the rest of it. Um, You see and the rest so yeah that's how you install ceiling fan blades so i hope you enjoyed and i'll see you later